Hey guys and welcome back or welcome if you are brand new to my channel and you're seeing my face for the very very first time. Hi I am Victoria and this is my channel in the fro. Seeing as recently I did a full like Dior collection video I loved filming it I found it really really fun to film and the comments were really amazing and you guys seem to really really enjoy it so I thought I'd put together today a Chanel unboxing and it comes at the perfect time because I just bought something new. It's actually been a long time since I treated myself to something from Chanel that was quite special and a bit of a one-off piece. So I thought in this video I could do a Chanel unboxing. Um, I'll be honest, I actually have two things to unbox and I thought I'd kind of go through my collection. In honesty, my Chanel collection isn't quite as large as my Dior collection. I don't really like to think of myself that way because I feel then you kind of take yourself out of buying one or the other. I love both brands. The heritage of both is so interesting and so inspiring. I do adore Dior and I love everything that they do and they stand for and their history over the years. But equally, Chanel and the fact that it was created by such a powerful and driven, motivated lady just gives it something so powerful, I think, and so wonderful. So I also do adore Chanel as well. So how about we get right into this? Um, I might save the unboxings until the very end and just kind of go through the collection and then show you what's kind of brand new to the collection. So stick around until the end if you want to see what I just got. I haven't put it anywhere else online. That's also why I wanted to film this today because I've had it all boxed up and I can't use it yet so um, <laughs> that's why I wanted to film this video today. Let's start off with shoes shall we? Let you know, let's start off with my favourite pair of shoes. I mean I've mentioned them, I've mentioned these numerous times but they are the Chanel Mules with the little CC pearls on the back. These are my second pair of these because I wore my first pair to the point where they were literally falling apart. I mean I do have them, I do still have them here. They're just so battered and bruised. I was going to sell them on my Depop. I have a Depop that I sell things on. In fact, there are a pair of Chanel shoes right now on my Depop, so they're not in this collection right now. Yeah, a pair of Chanel boots are on there if you're a size four. Go find my Depop in the fro. And I was gonna put them on my Depop and then when I looked at them again, I was like, these just aren't salvageable. I mean, they'd need a full new heel putting on, they'd need really buffing up, and this is all battered. Anyway, so I rebought them. So glad I did, because I do find that these go with everything that I wear, with tailoring especially, they're just so easy to slip on. They're really comfortable, they don't fall off your feet. I know a lot of mules I often steer away from because I feel like they're just gonna fall off my feet. These are really, really comfortable, they don't feel like that at all. The heel isn't huge, and therefore, again, they're not overly uncomfortable and it's just this colorway the beige it also comes in a suede you can get this in a suede cream as well there are a few different colorways this one especially is very very hard to get your hands on i was very lucky in chicago and found them in name and marcus i found these so obviously they were more money because i bought them in america big tip if you're buying chanel buy it in france <laughs> if you want to buy any brand buy it from the place that it's based in anyway so these are one of my most favorite pairs of shoes and i wear them constantly probably wear these at least once a week and the other only other pair of heels that I have from Chanel I can't believe this actually is a pair of boots that, again I bought in Chicago in fact three pairs of shoes here I bought in Chicago they just got a really good selection in name and Marcus and uh, yeah anyway these black boots I completely fell for them when I saw them in the store the thread it's got this really lustrous silver metallic thread running through the black it's a knitted like a really thick knitted feel to this again with this same toe that you saw from the other ones, which is just very, very Chanel. And it's just my kind of boot, this tall ankle with a zip in a black. And it just says Chanel here on this silver plate. So again, silver, black, Chanel, I couldn't really not, and I've worn these a lot. I mean, they do look very, very battered now, but I still love these to bits. I think they just go with everything at all that I wear, so they were a really good purchase, actually. I was really glad that I got those. And I'll show you the final pair that I bought in Chicago, and it's this pair of trainers, my only... Do you know what? I don't have many. Do you know, I have two pairs of designer trainers? One is Versace and one is these from Chanel. I just love these. <laughs> They're so like space sci-fi. I mean they came out when Chanel did the kind of space sci-fi theme um, So it made sense. I adore dark navy anyway, and it's almost bordering on a violet deep purple blue It's got that kind of purpley feel to the blue and this is in a velvet and then this is like a silver um, I think it's actually leather. It feels 
It's got that plasticky vibe, but I think it is a leather, and it's got the big CC on the side. So they're not going to be for everybody. I mean, look, they literally look like moon boots, but I just, I really loved them, and I've not worn them as much as I should have done, I must admit, but I've still enjoyed wearing these a lot, and especially when I'm traveling around, I really love these. And do you know what? I'm going to crack these back out again for this summer, because I feel I really want to get my wear out of them. These are also one of my favourite pairs that I've ever bought. I literally bought these on a way, I was walking through Selfridges, had a little toot around, shopping on my own, I love shopping on my own, and I just walked into Selfridges and I saw these, I'd not seen them anywhere else, and I just immediately was like, they look really comfortable and like something I could wear a lot, especially with this sling back, especially anything that goes around the back of my foot I'm not a big fan of, which is why I don't wear the trainers very much, whereas sling backs don't rub the back of my feet, so they're pretty great. Again, this cap toe, very Chanel, and then the, the woven like, boucle tweed going through here, just again with some very lustrous kind of silver silver metallic threads and honestly they're so comfortable I think they've still got a lot of these in right now I couldn't recommend them more um in fact I might buy another pair if they have any other colorways coming out this season because they just look really put together look really sophisticated when you wear them if you want to wear something flat but still super cute quite dolly shoe like they just feel very very feminine but also quite comfortable so I wear these on the days that I don't really want to wear my heels but I still want to look quite cute and put together and two more pairs and we have the espadrilles. I think the espadrilles are a really lovely way if you are a big Chanel fan and you're looking for a more affordable investment piece. I think these are a really great way to get into Chanel. The espadrilles are usually around, oh, I want to say about 350 to around 550 depending on which ones you get. And again, do you know, I've just realised that a lot of my pairs of Chanel have this this silvery thing going on. These are actually sequins that have been threaded through. Is it, wool? is it wool or is it a canvas? Either way, it's knitted and here you've got little tiny black sequins that just catch the light really cute. Again, I don't wear these as much as I should. I need to take them on more of my beach trips. If I do go on beach trips, I do take them with me. I don't wear them as much as I should, but they're still super comfortable. These I can wear a lot more because if you get them to really fit your feet so they're not moving up and down when you walk, they're not going to rub you as much. That's a good tip for anyone who finds that their shoes rub them a lot. You'll most likely find it's because your shoes are a little bit too big. <laughs> it took me a long time to work that out. I'm sorry if that's very obvious, but it took me a long time to work out. If I could just get tight shoes that will not move when you're walking, they won't rub you anyway. <laughs> Probably just me. <laughs> Probably just me. But yeah, again, these just have the toe and they've got the CC on the toe. If you can see that, rather cute. They just don't look like they've even really been worn, these. But yeah, um, I do love them. I won't be getting rid of them anytime soon. And the final pair are these. Oh, do you know what? I bought these in, oh, sorry. I bought these in Chicago too. Didn't mean to squeal. Um, I also bought these in Chicago. So it must look, I think Chicago might be my place of choice to buy things. Yeah, I just entirely fell in love with these with the Chanel across the toes. <laughs> with Chanel across the toes like this it was just a massive trend of last season's runway you'll have seen it everywhere honestly I am trying my hardest to try and find the white shirt with Chanel across it cropped shirt Kaya wore it on the catwalk and I remember the day I saw the Chanel catwalk as it was on and I saw that shirt and I screenshot it and I was like I need this shirt when it comes out and then <laughs> time goes by and then it comes to the point of launch day and then you forget and and then turns out everyone else wanted it in the world as well and it sells out. So now I don't have it. If you have it and you don't want it anymore in a size 34, please do let me know. Or if you know of it anywhere, then please let me know. I am honestly desperate to get that shirt. I genuinely saw it on the catwalk and dreamt about it. So know anyway I love these espadrilles they're in suede again beautiful little cap toe more round toe I don't often wear the round toe as much but I uh, don't mind for these and these are very much something I have been wearing like I took these to Malaysia with me that's something really nice and easy to slip on okay so that is shoes so because of that we have a pair of shoes to unbox in fact these are the shoes yeah 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 so I went shopping the other day with Claire. Her channel is I Am Chiquette. I'm sure if you know, if you love your Chanel bags, I'm sure that you already follow Claire. But we ended up going shopping the other day and um, <laughs> she's a bad influence. No, I'm joking. She's just, um, she knows her Chanel really well and it's really, um, it just really inspires me. So I got myself some shoes. It's always so exciting on doing all the boxes, isn't it? I don't know why it's so exciting. It's so nice. 
yeah okay so this is one of the things that i really loved about these shoes is that they came with this and it's almost i know it's, it doesn't look like anything but it's almost like a little beachy bag love it how cute is this it smells so plasticky <laughs> but i mean for the beach when you're on holiday throwing in your towel any little shoes and stuff so you've got this i don't know i just really liked the fact it came with that so that came with that okay so again i didn't know of these before i went into the what street is it Walton Street, Walton Street, the Walton Street store in London, and I literally saw them and was like, these are amazing. Look at these. Okay, so they've got a little thing around the heel, and they've got that in there, so you can actually see them. Aren't they just so cute? <laughs> so we've got this Perspex heel, which I'm, I do love anything that's like a Perspex heel, like this. I'm really, really into it. And then obviously it goes across the toe with CC, adore this colour of beige, this will go with everything in my wardrobe. Honestly, aren't they just so adorable? How cute is this little, little bit on the back as well? So cute. Right, let me get the other one. Yeah, so they both come in their own little dust bags and you get that Perspex uh, plastic bag as well. So I got these in the size 37. So I tried these on at the Walt, I'm gonna say Walton Street, it's probably wrong. The Walton Street store. It's kind of five minutes from Harrods and they didn't have them. So I then went to Harrods to pick them up inside. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay, seeing them now, I'm even more like, yeah, I made a good decision. And when we were there as well, Claire was like, they are amazing. She'd seen them as well. And I was like, well, I'm gonna get them. So I think you should get them as well if you love them. So Claire ended up getting a pair as well. So now we have some little matching shoesies which is really, really cute. I love them. I'm wanting to get these out of the box so I can just wear them everywhere. These with like some cool slouchy jeans, like turned up, really slouchy, cute white tee, some nice little jewelry like this over summer and then these on. That's gonna be my off-duty summer look, I think. So that's my final pair of shoes. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not as many as I thought it would be actually. Right, now. Let's start with bags. First one, I'll start with the first one. This is the first Chanel bag that I ever bought. This is a wallet on chain. I still absolutely adore it in the chevron stitching and the silver hardware. I mean, it's it's very battered and bruised now. I need a really, really good clean inside. In fact, later on, if I get some time, I might go through all of my, my leathers and give them a good buff. In fact, I've got it here. For anyone who wants to know what I use for protecting my bags and cleaning them, I use Colonil spray. I literally spent, sorry, now this is a Chanel, a Chanel unboxing, but my little Louis here, I sprayed the whole thing up yesterday with Colonil spray so that next time I take it out and about, it'll be nicely protected. So just so you know, that's what I used. And also they do like leather cleaners. It's just like a cream. Let's get a nice clean um, white cloth and just buff it in. Works, works wonders actually. It will take out things that you never thought you'd get out of your bags. It's amazing. Anyway, so back to this. Just love this strap again. The deep blue with the silver. It was just immediately very, very me when I went to buy this. I think I bought this in the Rue de, Rue de Cambon store in Paris. I think I was there with a few of the girls actually. We were all buying a few different things and they were all like, yeah, you should buy that. So I treated myself to this. Would I recommend it? Yeah, if you love your little bags and you want something that's great for like the airport to put your phone, your money and your passport in, it's a really, really great bag. If you are also someone who likes to go on little nights out and take a small bag with like a lipstick, your room key, you know, a few little things, it's great. And in honesty, it does push out a little bit at the side. So you can get a little extra in than you think. I mean, I, I pack my bags full. It's not great, but I do. So you can get, you get some real, you can get a little bit extra in there than you may think. But yeah, no, I would recommend it if you're after a gorgeous little Chanel bag. Something that you'll probably use a lot of the time if you are into your small bags. I don't regret it for a second. I still love it. The next thing I have is this cute little, it's a little coin purse. And this was a very, very kind gift from Chanel when I went away with Chanel Beauty. Oh, do you know what? Let me pull you back in again. I went away with Chanel Beauty and they very kindly gave me this as a little gift. And honestly, I've never really used it all that much. Um, only because I always have my own little card wallet and things and I've never really gotten around to use it, but I should do. I keep it next to my other Chanel bags, always to remind myself that I'm using them to take this with me. So I'm gonna definitely start doing that more because it is so adorable. It's in champagne gold. 
It's very, very sweet. It just opens up like, opens up like this. It's got a few little compartments and an A. Um, a sort of coin area there. Really adorable. Okay, then we have one of my absolute pride and joys. It's one of my favourite bags I've ever, ever bought. Again, I bought this in, in the Rue de Cambon store. It's just the most beautiful cream, I think it's called the top handle flat bag, I want to say. I feel like it should have an even cuter name than that. It looks more white here. It's definitely more cream. You can see it more from that angle there. It's more of a cream with a very gold silver metal finish. It's got the flap on the back, not that I've ever really used it. And then here at the front, in fact, I think I mentioned this recently, um, this bag. It's still got the packaging in there because I like to keep it nice and full. And it's just got a good bit of space. And then the beautiful strap. It's got leather to the top here, which I really, really love. It's just so feminine. It's, do you know, I've completely lost my voice. It's sweet, it's dainty, it's so wearable with everything. If you want to style it up or dress it down. Again, the whole like, as I was saying, the sort of like blue jeans, white tee, flat sandals, hair slicked back, and then this kind of bag just thrown over crossbody. It's just that very, easy wearable style really. So yeah, I don't regret this for a second. I think it's just one of my favourite bags in my entire bag collection, to be honest. And the fourth bag in the collection is this one, the Jumbo. The Jumbo, yeah, you also notice, I'm just, yeah, this is the last one. I don't have any, um, I don't own any boy bags, which you might be surprised at. You might be like, where's the boy bag? I like the boy bag. I think it's a gorgeous bag. On some people it looks fantastic. It's just never really been one that I've really been in love with enough to purchase. I mean, it's, it's of quite an amount of money and it's never, I've never loved it so much that I felt I wanted to buy a boy. Um, so instead, I went for the jumbo and this was when I first started all my traveling and I was like I really need a really good travel bag um, and this is just an amazing bag I've used it a lot actually and it still managed to stay in fantastic condition this again was a couple of seasons ago this was 2016 this came out this was spring summer 2016 I don't know if you remember this when it was on the catwalks but I was just absolutely in love with the whole thing and when I saw this, I just needed it in my life. But yeah, it's still in fantastic condition. It's in a canvas. Do you know, I've got some bits and bobs in here, actually, that I just leave. Let me take these out. I just leave these things in here. Just for when I really need them. Oh, we've got some crummies down here. That's not good. Crummies, crummies, crummies. So it's got... The first thing it has here, which I love, is a huge laptop sleeve. A huge compartment here in the front. Then it's got a dividing separator here which again has another section it's got a little clippy for your keys oh yeah and then in here also are two pockets a larger pocket and then a thinner pocket thinner pocket for your phone large pocket for like your passport or whatever and then on the back it's got another flap the amount of times that i have just gone mm, put that in there at the airport and then i freak out for five minutes going someone's taken my phone with my phone and then i realize i've been there so I cottoned on after about the third time of doing that, <laughs> that my phone was most likely in that compartment. So choose a compartment and stick with it <laughs> when it comes to this bag, because it is kind of large that you can uh, lose things if you're not too careful. But look how gorgeous it is. I've had so many, probably one of the most complimented bags in my collection. Because I mean, look, it's huge. It's a humongous Chanel bag. There's no, there's no getting away from it. I'm so glad I got this. I actually bought this in Hong Kong after a trip that I was on and I got it from the airport because I couldn't wait any longer and I was so obsessed I needed it. <laughs> so I bought it. Do you know what? I've just remembered one more thing. One more thing I've got. I knew I had something else. I also have a scarf, which I think was from the exact same collection as the red and blue. It was for the show where they had all of the pilots and air hostesses and it was a full like travel aeroplane super sophisticated women going away on holiday air hostess vibe so got this sort of it's probably like a meter by a meter scarf I mean one day I might put it in a big frame or something because I do love this scarf and I've not worn it as much as I should have I know in the past I've worn it as like a necktie and I've just sort of tied it round and done it as like a cute little necktie in the past it is very like air hostess but you could equally wear it in your hair 
I mean, I could wear it in my hair. And also I have also worn it around my bag. I think I might do that more, you know. I might, I might actually attach it to this bag and just wear it as like my bag scarf, potentially. Yeah, I also got that as well. So this is where the unboxing starts of my new bag. I saw this bag and immediately fell absolutely in love with it. And I was able to get, I mean, it's somewhat rare now. It's quite difficult to get your hands on this bag now. So. It's also perfectly wrapped. It must take them so long. You start out gently and then it's just like, rip, I've had enough of this. Okay, okay. Okay, who guessed it was gonna be this bag? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so, just got a little, Got my little Chanel bag in here to keep it safe. This is my new bag. It's beautiful. Okay, so just to state the obvious, it is covered in pearls. It's in a very, very deep navy. This is a satin. I think this is leather, just this section here, but the rest is all a satin, which I actually really, really love about it. It just feels a little bit more special than buying another leather bag. It just feels a little bit more dainty, intricate, elegant, that sort of thing. But again, I will be wearing this throughout the summer with as much as possible, like pretty much every outfit I'll be wearing this with. Open it up inside. Nicely packed for me. Got the little Chanel logo here. It has, oh cute, it has a small pocket in here with the Chanel card. Um, and then it has a long chain strap. So I bought this the other day when I, again, when I was with Claire. Claire has this exact same bag. And the more I kept seeing her with it and showing it off, I was like, I really do need this bag. I have the three Chanel bags that I've invested in. And it's been ages, actually, since the last one I bought, which was this one. Um, it must be about two and a bit years, actually. So I felt like I really did want to invest in something brand new. And I just thought that if I didn't go for it and buy this, I'd be really, really gutted that I'd not just gone for it sooner. It's just such a beautiful, delicate and unique bag. So yeah, so this is my brand new, brand new purchase guys. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I cannot wait to wear it. I mean, in these colors, the white and the blue, it just kind of goes perfectly with my uh, summer color scheme of blue jeans and white tee. Pretty perfectly, don't you think? And then with my new shoes. So cute. I'm really, really, really pleased with it. So I hope you like it, guys. And I really hope you enjoyed watching my entire Chanel collection. Like I said, if you are brand, brand new to my channel, I really hope you've enjoyed it. And it would be amazing if you stopped by again. Please do just hit the subscribe button down below and put on the bell notifications and all that kind of thing so you know when I've posted. But I look forward to reading all your comments and seeing what you think of my new bag and my new shoes and everything else. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.